Hello everyone, great to have your company here on Calkind TV. I'm Rachel and you're watching The Buzzing Trends. Today we're looking at three stocks from the utility sector to watch out for in 2022. Now the utility sector includes companies that offer services such as electricity, natural gas and water. This sector is focusing on meeting environmental targets, encouraging economic prosperity and maintaining national security. In 2021, the Australian power and utility sector is experiencing radical transformation. The index has delivered a negative year-to-date return of 1.01% and a quarter-to-date return of 4.15%. The sector has recently gained huge attention following the G20 summit in Italy and the ongoing changes in the sector. The country is also making massive progress in renewable energy to provide people with sustainable gas and energy sources. Back in 2016, the renewable energy provided around 17.5% of Australia's electricity. A year later, over 35 new projects started. Currently, the Australian government seeking initiatives to achieve net zero carbon emissions. As a result of these ongoing developments in the utility space, investors are gradually gaining interest in the companies. So on that note, let us check out three stocks from the utility space that made significant progress in 2021 and see how they are now positioned. First up, we have Renew Energy. They aim to offer innovative, clean energy products and services, creating sustainable value for clients and shareholders. They delivered a year-to-date return of approximately 138.1%. On the 10th of November, the company signed a share purchase agreement to acquire Australian green hydrogen business, Countrywide Renewable Hydrogen. Now, Countrywide is an Australian company that has green hydrogen in partnership with governments and other businesses. It has a pipeline of prospects in Canada as well as the US. This company also targets domestic supply and aims to expand the project for upcoming export demand. In September this year, Renew Energy announced an investment in Anossi Australia. And on the 30th of November, it completed the second tranche of its investment in Anossi. Renew Energy, their stock is trading at 1.041% higher at 9.7 cents per share today. Moving on, we have Osnet Services. They're an ASX-listed energy firm that owns and operates over $11 billion worth of electricity and gas network assets. It owns as well as runs the Victorian Electricity Transmission Network. The company delivered a year-to-date return of almost 43%. Recently, Brookfield Asset Management informed the company that Australia Energy Holdings 4 had written confirmation from the Foreign Investment Review Board that the Commonwealth Bank has no objections to the proposed acquisition of Osnet via the proposed scheme of arrangement. The implementation of the scheme is subject to several criteria, such as shareholder approval and court approval. Osnet Services stock is trading 0.394% lower at $2.54 a share today. And lastly, we have Energy World Corp. They produce and sell power, oil and natural gas. They also develop independent power projects and manufacture and sell liquefied natural gas. In financial year 2021, the Energy World Corp. delivered a year-to-date return of around 30.43%. And during that period, the company experienced the impact of COVID-19 on its businesses. As a result, there was a 6.2% dip in revenue to 149.4 million US dollars. Net profit declined significantly from $12.3 million to $1.8 million, representing various one-off developments that happened during the period. Despite the challenges posed by COVID-19, the company could operate and manage its current investments and also make further development in its power, gas, as well as LNG projects that they have under development in Indonesia and the Philippines and the process to resume gas production in Australia. Energy Well Corporation raised 50 million US dollars under the entitlement offer, which was used to pay Augusta Investments and pay linked costs and other corporate and project development purposes. The company recently finalised the loan payments from Augusta Investments and on the 22nd of October, its subsidiary in Indonesia, PT Energy Senkang, made its final loan repayment to the development financial institutions under the PT Energy Senkang Loan Facility. 
Energy World Corp stock is trading at nine cents per share today. Now these companies made significant progress this year and delivered a double digit year to date return. And with the ongoing developments in the utility space, it'll be very interesting to see how these players perform in the coming quarter. Well, that's all from me for now. We'll be back soon with our Bussing Trends show to share the latest market insights with you. Till then, stay tuned to Calkine TV for more stock, business and economy related hot trends. I'm Rachel signing off for now.